All right, let's go over the answers for diagramming another sentence. So the sentence that we're looking at is the intelligent student gave him the important paper for class. Let's start with the subject. The subject is who or what did it. In this sentence, the subject is student. So write student as our subject. The next question that we ask is what did the student do? What did he do? He gave. So gave is our predicate. And gave is a verb. And so we write gave as our predicate. The third question that we ask is what did he do it to? What did the student give? He gave a paper. So then we use paper as our direct object. The fourth question that we ask is to whom or what? what? To whom or what did the student give the paper? He gave it to him, which is the indirect object. Now when we're doing the indirect object, we need to put the, the indirect object on the bracket. There's nothing here like when you do a prepositional phrase. We just put the indirect object down below. So we put him, which we will make smaller so that it will fit on here well, and write him. All right, so him went there. Then we have a couple of different questions. The next question that we would ask is how, when, or where did he do it? And the answer for that is for class. For class is a prepositional phrase and it goes underneath the verb. It's an adverbial prepositional phrase. So we need to put for on the line going down and then class on the line going across. The next thing that we're looking at is our adjectives. Which one, what kind, and how many? And the and intelligent describe what kind of student. So we need to put what kind of student underneath student. The intelligent. And then we have the and important and that tells again what kind of paper. So it goes underneath paper. Oh, lovely writing. Okay, so let's let's go over all of our parts of our sentence. And we will add 
orange for our adjectives. So you can see our adjectives are down here underneath the nouns, describing the nouns. Then we have student as our subject, gave as our predicate, paper as our direct object, and him as our indirect object. Thank you. See you in the next video.